shoo! The duck shoes, as you guys know, are dropping on July 14th. But I pulled some strings and I got early access for you guys only if you download the app. Ducks has a brand new app and you can get the shoes right now, two days early. These suckers right here, they're gonna sell out. I promise they will. If you guys have been looking at these saying, and I really want a pair, I would highly suggest downloading the app right now to get early access to guarantee yourself a pair of these fresh shoes. Link down below guys, check it out. Apple, Android, we got it all for you. The Ducks Waterfowl app is now available and so are the shoes. Enjoy the rest of today's video. Shoo! What's going on, folks? We are starting the day in the shop. I feel like I haven't shown you guys these bad boys for a while. Nate's been taking care of them. Oh, that's OSHA approved. Perfect. <laughs> Nate, Nate's been, oh, look at these little suckers. Uh, I, you know, we have filmed them, but it's just been a while. Everything's gotten a lot bigger. We're usually down by the animals, and it's like we've been keeping guys in the shop. Probably in the next couple videos, you'll see us start transporting some, some birds around, start moving some birds around. These guys are just about ready to get out of this container and get down to the big shed. And then the big shed birds are down to get out on pasture. And the ones that are already on pasture are down to go in the chicken tractor. So we are going to be moving some birds. Today is not quite the day. Like I said, I'd give it a few more days and let these guys kind of do their thing. But we've got some nice pheasants. Oh, they and the quail. And they're not killing each other. Other. No, they're friends now. Do you think they can live, or do you think once they get older, it's You know what over? I think helped? I think we threw one guinea in there, and he just identifies no, it, everybody. He just, he's the bouncer. He's he the, just kicks everyone's ass, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we have one guinea with a broken wing, Rip. Uh, he's hanging in there, but then these guys are the pheasants. These guys are the quail. If you guys are new here, they're getting bigger. Um, they still haven't outgrown this pen by any means, but, and then we've got, how many did these these guys make it? We got, we got 19. Right? I think 19 yeah, we only lost 19. one from the post. Oh, that ain't bad. So these guys are doing pretty good in here. So those are these are strictly meat chickens, which is the same thing that we have down in the animal shed. We'll show you guys those. Those guys are getting big too. And we got to get those guys out on pasture, and then these guys will take their place. So we've got birds doing the cycle, okay? So it's like you got old ones, younger, less old ones, less old ones, younger, and goes down. So then once these guys are too big for this, that's the time for the big ones to get kicked out on pasture. And so we're trying to like, we're, we're new to this whole thing as far as like cycling birds, but I'd like to find a good routine where you don't have too many many little ones, too many medium ones, too many big ones. Like it, it needs to run a cycle. Because once these guys get big, well, they get blinded by the light. So then, then, then you start the whole cycle over again. Maybe you'll start, we have a whole bunch of incubators. Maybe we start incubating eggs. But I want to show you guys this because I just feel like we hadn't shown it for a few videos. And I was like, yeah, maybe we give you guys a quick update. Everything's doing great. They're hanging out in here. We've got these covering it because um, otherwise they pretty much fly out. Uh, but meat chickens, bobwhite quail, ringneck pheasants, and one single guinea are still alive and well. So we're going to head down to the animals. We've got to get everything else basically fed, taken care of. Those guys are good on water and food. And we'll show you, again, we're going to do basically a whole update on everything. Show you how everything's doing. And another thing we're going to do is something super exciting. We are going to let our pullets, the ones that we just recently bought, uh, we're going to let them out on pasture. We are going to, we moved them into another coop. You guys saw it. And then a raccoon somehow killed them. We don't know how. Um, and so then we reboarded up and put traps out and haven't seen the, the little menace guy since. So he's definitely scared. He's shaking in his boots. So we are going to take an angle grinder and cut a little doggy door to let them out on pasture so that way they can go eat flies that's pretty much the only reason why we bought those bad boys they are on fly duty fly control and then another thing we're probably not going to do today but we got more of this wire this is the wire that we're going to use to wrap the inside of the chicken coop you guys will see here in a bit and that should hopefully prevent any raccoons because raccoons can't fit their paws through it's like a half inch by half inch square so we're getting everything but again if you're new here we got this sucker loaded up we got angle grinder yeah we got everything we need should we just take this one down yeah i say we take the old farm hand mule anyways we will see you guys down at the animals. We gotta feed everything, take care of everything. Stay tuned. Shoo! We made it! Man, there are a lot of animals down here. Look at these, these, look at these guys are ready. They're ready to get after it. Man, these guys are pretty darn close to kicking out too, boys. What do you think about these guys? You think they're, why, why they so you think they're about ready? Oh, the blonde chickens. She's still alive. That's good. Yeah, I think it's um, about time to let these guys start living. Should we put... I'm trying... What do you want, what to, do you want to do with them? the turkeys? That's I try to figure that out. Because no, I don't... Put them in the... I don't... Like that's they're a, gonna be too big pretty soon to, to, get to go through, through there. there. So, so one idea could be: Do you think that coop is big enough for all these chickens yes. and all those chickens? When they're if we're, since we're gonna let them out, yes, I think they'll all. So there. one idea could be: We get all the chickens from here, put them with those chickens, and let them go. Keep the turkeys in here until they're big enough to just like literally free range on their own, and then take the turkeys and just like them the eat them room. because they yeah pay, uh, he's horny. <laughs> Yeah, he yeah he says, hey, pass pass me the broads. What he just said. So because these guys, the the turkeys, I mean, they need a coop and enclosure, but they really don't. They can roost in trees. I mean, turkeys and you know, there's wild turkeys. There's not wild chickens. There's a reason, right? Because they can stay away from predators. So I think I'm just trying to decide if we want to. How do we want to do this? We want to let these guys. Okay, I don't want to kill all of our chickens at once. I think we should leave them in here. And so test let's test. You got. Yeah, I'm sorry. You guys are the test dummies. Like you got. You either got to. We already Somebody's lost. Got someone's got to do it. Has to be and these guys we bought from Tractor Supply as little chicks. I, they, these guys mean. And we have. 
Yeah. A little bit more, I, I, and we never killed one, so I don't want to start now. Yeah. So, okay, for today, these guys, it's your lucky day, you're going to stay in your coop. These guys, on the other hand, are the ones that, they're going to have to be our test dummies. We already tested them night one, KO'd. So, we made some adjustments. This is the one where we got the, uh, you know, the, this panel on it, we put boards up on it, we did all this, we have raccoon traps and nothing's got in, but that little tiny wire, we we're going to wire the inside of it, see how the raccoons can get their hands through there? So we, we're going to prevent that from happening, we'll get that done at some point, but these guys, and there's eight of them, Eight of them. These will be the test guys. Set them out there. Few days. We got to see if they know to go out, scratch, and then come back. These guys are on fly duty. That's all I. They, they don't lay eggs yet. Just fly duty, huh? I knocked that off. Oh, you did. Oh. Well, I wanted to. I was like, man, I wonder if they understand the golf ball strat. You know, these raccoons are smart, dude. Yeah. Like they get, they see their buddy knock a golf ball off and then get KO'd. Mm -hmm. They don't touch the they golf ball. That. So I knocked the golf ball off. But yeah, I mean, since it's you know, kind of raining out here. You can put that back in there. I, but. Have, I think I have faith that these guys are going to be okay because that big blonde one, she ain't died yet. That one around she's oh, fine. true. She ain't died yet. Where's she at? Is she is she hanging out? Yeah, we got, there's a big, the, the big buff. Oh, yeah, the old buff chicken. That's that's jigging. That's jigging right there. So she's made it. She might take the lead and lead these guys to victory. That's kind of what we're hoping. Yeah. These guys are doing just normal laying chicken. So these guys, we don't want to, we don't really want to free, well, we, I want to free range everything. Don't get me wrong. But these guys provide extreme value to the farm because they lay eggs. So we don't want those guys to get KO'd. And those guys we raised from chicks, these guys we bought as pullets that really just need to get a little bit older before that. Once they start laying eggs, we'll build a legit coop that they can nest in but these guys can't lay eggs yet so there's not really there's not really a whole point and then before i forget we do have quit really we do have quail our quail are hanging out they're doing quail things there's not a whole lot really going on in there we get eggs every once in a while we put in some little cedar branches for them but they just we've definitely lost some quail somehow they've oh, gotten yeah. out and so we think it was the door so we fixed the door we got beef cake construction we got the door fixed so these guys are doing all right well we should probably feed these oh carol's pissed look at her why is ralph, ralph why is he drinking that water ralph there's a ralph look at him Ralph, there's a water on the... Why is he like this? I don't, I don't understand why he's like this. All right, let's get a couple scoops of grain. Ralphie, drink out of your... What is wrong with him? Look at him. Buddy, hey, drink on your own side. Junior, why? Drink out of your own faucet. No sharing. All right, go ahead. And... Oh, wow, look at the two big mega scoops we got. Give him the old scoop. Dale, no pooping in the trough, Dale. These guys have been out on pasture. They're doing good. Carol's looking a little thick. Not terrible. She's the only one I'm like super good. But look at all the flies. You see these dang flies? These flies are non-stop. No matter how much, no matter how much we do this, no matter how much, I can I could give Ralph a full bath, head to toe. Come back this afternoon, he's getting eaten with flies. So that's why we have we have to use natural remedies, like chickens. And so although there is a risk. Oh Carlos, why is he running? There is a risk that our chickens get KO'd. I, I mean a chicken's a lot cheaper than a, a cow. You know what I mean? So Carol dies because of the flies or something. She's a lot more expensive than a bunch of chickens. There you go. You got it, Carol. You got it, Carol. That's the plan. These chickens, they can't lay eggs. You, you got to bring some value to the farm here. You, if you can't lay eggs, you better be eating some damn flies. So, we ready to release them? Re release the chickens? Hopefully they don't die. Stay tuned. All righty, chickens. You stay right where you're at, mister. Oh, this thing doesn't... Uh oh, they got, got wet. they got jammed. Really? All right, well, that's fine. We'll dump it out. Time to release you boys and girls. Well, actually, they're all girls. Let me know when you're good. Good. Oh, wow. That was... Save, we'll save these parts. Yep, that's it, boys. Oh, Ooh, hang on. What? Is this a strat? Oh, yeah. Oh, let's and do just that. Cut hang the on. Oh, we got zip ties, Nate. All right. Yes, we what do. What about this, dude? That's way smarter. Is that too then short? They, or they can, that high? They can get it. We have to cut out is this, 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 we'll, we'll, and this. We'll, we'll give them a hole a and we'll square. shove them through there. But this will get some. This will be an extra layer of protection. This is a better idea too, because you know we're gonna lose this door. Yeah, exactly. And that way, if we say, hey, this is a bad idea, you just slide it shut. Okay. Perfect. All right. Grinder. I got the old grind. Look out. So we're cutting. This right here, this Honestly, right here. Honestly, right you know, be, oh, well, it's fine. I what? said, the, just bolt cutters would be a little safer. Oh, we we have bolt cutters. I know, I know. Do you want to use them or do you want to use these? I mean, Nate, sp sparks are kind of cool. Sparks are way cooler. You got bolt cutters? What do you think, Nate? Front? Oh, he, okay, well, he's already going to I'll, I'll, <laughs> I like this. We're I mean, sparks are kind of nice, but look at, like look at Blondie. It. She She's going to be the mother or hen for all these guys. She's going to lead them to victory or death because her friend did die. She made it though. Survival of the fist, fittest, right? Not, not how we made it here. Raccoon special there. Now, raccoons can get in. I know. I'm aware. But they have to come all the way through to come back. And Big Mama, the sheep, needs to defend these chickens or something. All right. What are the odds we can get the chickens to come over here? There you go. Let's see if they find it. Let's see if they find it. Are they smart? Are you smart? Who's smart? Who's smart? Who's gonna do it? Who's gonna do it? The sheep are not helping you. Sheep. 
I think I can see it. Oh. Yep, yep. Oh, don't get it. Oh, oh, they were in it. Look at that. Go. Oh, what? oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. They can fit. We're idiots. Go. They can go through the four inch holes. Well, I guess they'll, they'll get bigger. They'll get, they'll get but yeah. Bigger what the? Right <laughs> that was kind of cool. Dang, that would have been smart because I don't know if a raccoon can get through a four by four. Yeah, but yeah. give it. That, that blew my mind when they ran through there. I was I like, wait, how'd that just that. happen? <laughs> Look, they, you see your friends? Look, oh, go, 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 go. Look, you guys are free. Heck Let's yeah. go. Yeah. yeah, all right. Well, chickens are now free ranging. A big, what's Big Mama thing? Can she, she get it figured out? Look at her. Don't beat their ass yet. Big mom, it's mother hen for these guys. So, all right, well, chickens are free ranging. These guys will be our testers. I'd say if we give it a few days and they're, they're able to, all what others will come back at night, make sure they're kind of in here. And if they make it for a few days, then I think we get the rest of our pullets that are too young to lay, stick them in here. We can put more, we can put a lot more roost bars. I mean, we can put, we can stack this whole thing up and this thing could probably hold probably 40, 50 chickens, honestly. I mean, this is a big, this is a big space. So I think it should be, it should be totally fine for them to, for them to roost it and hang out. But look at all, look at their scratching. This is what they're supposed to be doing. Go get them, go get them oh, flies. The get them flies, son. All right. Well, these guys are good. Let's go check on the geese. Shoo! What are you doing, geese? Wake up. Wake up. Are yeah, you guys enjoying the pond or what? You having a good time? How are these guys? These guys haven't died yet? I mean, looks like they're just, they're just hanging out. They're fine. I'm chilling. Throw them a little food. Yeah, give them a little bit. Of, give them a little something, something. Oh, yeah. Yep. I ordered some floating goose, well, oh. fowl food. So we can, so we can Yeah, so pond. we can throw it on the pond, yeah. Oh. yeah. You got it. Oh, you got it. Oh. Making it rain. Yeah, so we can throw it on the pond, then they jump in, they swim, and they eat. So I did order some of that. Right now, we just be giving them, like, some, you know, poultry, all flock, you know, that type of stuff. But they're, they've been eating this grass. I mean, look how much, all this grass, this was completely overgrown when we I mean, moved these guys in. they hang out. It's yeah, right it's there. just right here. <laughs> I don't, go to the other side. There's plenty of grass for you guys. I don't know why they don't go in here. But anyways, the geese are alive. They're not dead. It's electric fences, but keeping these raccoons out. I will say, of all these times doing poultry raising, the only thing that I've ever had to, that's been raccoon proof, knock on wood, are these electric fences. We've never lost anything to a raccoon with this fence. So if, uh, I guess if we end up losing more chickens, we could always give them a pasture, but it's like, we're trying to get them to eat the flies around the big animals. So if you put an electric fence in there, it just defeats the whole purpose. So we really just need these chickens to just wise up, learn to go out and scratch during the day, come back and hide at night. We'll have a door that shuts and life will be good. So anyways, everything's pretty much been fed except one specific animal in here. Are you excited for this? I haven't seen them yet. Holy Look dude. at these guys. Oh, I can't wait to eat these suckers. Why are they so big? These guys have gotten giant, dude. When do I get to eat them? Uh, yeah. Probably, what do you think, four weeks? Four yeah, more weeks. Are these two weeks or three weeks? Three weeks. Three. We're going on four. So we're I think we're, we were going to try to get them at maybe eight weeks Man. if we pasture them. If you keep them in this and just like feed them like crazy at six weeks or six pounds. But I think we should pasture them, get them on that grass fed strat and just see. Cause what I want to do is I want to butcher one of these. Then I want to go to like Walmart and get a store bought one. And we have a blind taste test. Can we tell the difference between, you know, farm raised grass fed chicken or, you know, Walmart. But these guys are doing good. Same thing. We got raccoon. I mean, we've been going hard on the raccoon trapping. We haven't really trapped any for a while. Um, besides the last incident of the one chicken getting KO'd, which we all have suspicions. We think somehow we don't know how the chicken got out was sleeping against the fence because there was so much more feathers and blood on the outside of the fence than the inside if he got KO'd on the inside then I think the blood would be on the inside I'm not sure I, I don't know exactly what happened but since then we haven't had any problems we've been refreshing the traps life has been good these guys at some point we will be harvesting do a big old day where we pluck them and clean them and we should hopefully have chicken for for quite some time so there you have it there's an update on all the animals I know it's kind of long we just we got a lot of animals now folks but it's today's a big day we've been waiting to release chickens out on the pasture for months now that's why actually why we bought the tractor supply chicks to begin with was just for fly control because you know they don't really lay eggs great for the first year maybe in the second year and so we went ahead and bought some actual good egg layers like these guys so we're getting our eggs you know we're getting six to seven or eight you know eggs a day these guys are just for fly control but oh big mama's liking it nate poured a little trail of is that you that was me i, was I, I didn't know who was blowing oh, I, was, I was blowing oh yeah the buff chicken she's got it we put a bunch of scratch out there oh oh what really oh one's back in he figured it out is there two? Rip. Four. Go. Get back to scratching. Get your ass back out there and start scratching. Maybe we should pull their food. I'll give it back to them tonight. I mean, they look at all. Oh, they're all coming back. Get your ass out. Yeah, get rid of their food. All right, get rid of it. Let's get let's get rid of their food. Here, you. Yeah, just grab the old bucket and bring her out here. We suckers don't need any more food. You don't. You guys. You go find your food. That's the whole kind of idea. So, anyways, we are going to go bow fishing today. That is the plan. We are going to hopefully take the John boat, launch it at the farm, and hopefully shoot some fish. We've got the cheap. I found the cheapest bow I could possibly 
find. And one of the more expensive ones. Not the most expensive, but pretty darn expensive that I could get soon. One of them is like a no reel recurve and pretty much just like a piece of wood with a string on it. And then the other one is like a super high tech advanced one. And we're going to be doing a challenge to see, is it worth it to buy the expensive one? Or can you shoot just as many fish with like the $100 bow? You guys stay tuned. Shoo! We made to the, oh god, that's muddy. Red. We made to the farm, folks. We are, uh, is that, oh, is it locked? Yeah. Son of a, why does this truck do these things? We don't have a boat ramp. We used to have a boat ramp, now we don't. So we're gonna make our own. Well, we're not gonna make nothing. We're just gonna make it work. This is the old Ducks Diner. And it's, uh, fortunately, it is a little breezy, but the carbs should be spawning. I don't know why they haven't spawned yet. They spawned like a month ago last year like it time wise. So we're gonna just, I don't know if there's a better, a spot that's better than another on this. There might be less shore here. We're just gonna send her off the cliff and I like this right here. I think this is better. We'll give you a little quick shove and we've got our boat, our boats. Yeah, we have a boat. We have our bows and arrows. And today's venture is just try to shoot as many carp as possible. So stay tuned. That's probably good, and we can get it off. Oh yeah. Oh, beautiful. Oh. Let's just make a ramp right here. That wasn't too bad. We made it, boys. Time to go find some fish. All right, folks, here's the boat. This is the old $100. This is the old Cajun fish stick. That's actually what it's called. That's not, I didn't make that up. It's the old Cajun fish stick. And about a hundred bucks will get you this bad boy. And we're gonna, again, find out, is it necessary? Is it better? Is it worth the money to get an expensive bow versus a cheap bow? I mean, this is the cheapest one I could possibly find. There's not much to it. Now you got it. Now go ahead. Not much to it. There's a, just a little recurve. There's no reel. There's just a spool of line. I'm gonna do a quick test shot. Oh God, that was odd. Yeah. That was very weird. You like that or what? So you just, this is how you do this? Yeah, you just wind it back, hand line it back in and then wind it back up, I guess. Holy smokes. So how we're going to do this, to be fair, is, uh, well, I'll let Jake get the first shot. And then basically once you shoot, the other guy can shoot whenever. He can't shoot until the other guy shoots. And we're just going to go and see, maybe give it an hour or two and see who can basically shoot the most fish. I mean, that wasn't that bad. It's not terrible. Oh, like, you shoot close. Yeah, you just you don't shoot be, far shots? Yeah, yeah. It'd be a long day. On the other hand, we got the old Cadillac. This is the most expensive left-handed bow I could find. I was like, if I'm going to spend the money, I want to be able to shoot it. So I looked up most expensive left-handed bow that was currently in stock that I could get before the carp spawn out. And this is what I'm left with. It's a $500, about Maybe a little more than that, maybe six hundred bucks. Five or six hundred bucks for this guy versus a hundred dollars. I mean, that's a huge difference. That's a huge. You difference. could have five or six of those for Seriously. the price of just one of these bad boys. All right, get the old practice shot. Oh, oh that man, good. that sounds good. All right, let's go find some fish. Oh, there's a guard right there. Shoot him. Oh, right over him, huh? Sheesh. The old gar shot. Not that you can get him. No, I didn't hit him. Really? No, I wish. Gar are tough in general, especially with your little doohickey setup. All right, well I'll let you go because I'm gonna I be say, reeling up. Yeah, that's what I say. I'm gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll see, see you tomorrow when you're done reeling that sucker. No, up. I'm done. Really? Oh yeah. That wasn't too bad. That's not terrible. All right, now big big poppies up. We got the old expensive bow. There's, there's a gar. there's a gar. Oh, that's right up there. Yep. Yep. Carp. 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 Right over him, right over him. Rip, rip. Dang it, dude. We saw a giant carp. I freaking suck. You're up? No, you're up. Oh, oh yeah, that's a big one, that's a big one. Right over him, I think. Right over his face. That arrow didn't completely come out straight, it didn't look like either. It hits the water and goes up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, did, what, did you see that? How does that work? <laughs> we're finding fish. We just, suck. we're not on, yeah, we're not on the, the shooting juice here. All right, so far it is, uh, well, I missed once, Jake's missed twice. We are seeing some fish. They're just, they're kind of few and far between. I gotta navigate around this tree. I'm confident it's gonna happen. They're not rolling. We have yet to see these fish, like, just dolphin diving over around the surface, making it super easy. They're over there, you know, getting it on and whatnot. We ain't found that yet. We've been out here like four times. I just, I figured today was the day after a nice rain and it's just not, 
know if they already did it and we just missed it, they were just quick, or what. But we're finding fish, just not exactly what we're after. We need a big Sheila. Where are them easy suckers? Oh, oh. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. That's a tank, it's a tank. Did he come off? Oh, he come off! Rip. That was a tank, Rip. bro! That was a four-footer! He was are you, huge. Are you serious? You didn't even say nothing. He was just wallowing up there. Dude! That one was actually like up in the shower. That was a yeah. tanker, bro. That was a big fish. Does this boat suck or do I suck? He may have just been you just too far. Him. I mean, I smoked him, dude. I could use, oh, I could use a fresh tip. We got She's him. Dull. You got a dull tip already? Yeah, I doled her. I doled that tip. Dude, that's what we were after, dude. That was a tank, bro. That was PB. That was a giant, yeah, that would have been my PB, dude. I stuck, I stuck that sucker. Dude, I mean, that was a, that would have been my PB carp for sure, dude. He was huge. Got one, got one. Yo, old arrow, I don't have a keeper. Oh, oh dude, that, that thing is not, sucks. that thing's shooting flat. It's not going in the water. Like, that arrow landed flat. Yeah. We're both struggling, and we, I spent a bunch of money, and I'm still struggling. Uh, there's, there's, there's one. Two of them, two of them, two of them. Got him, got him, got him. Don't come off. Don't come off. Oh, what? Did I not get him? You did. What? It, what? It, what is going on? Did I not hit that thing? Are both of these bows cheeks, or what? I, I mean, I hit him. Yeah. Like, the bow you stuck definitely him. Hit him. I mean, I'm pulling as far back as I can. I mean, you really don't need that much poundage for bow fishing, dude. Like, I've shot him with a lot less. Dude, you bit two. I, I am just garbage. We're gonna land a giant. It's gonna happen. Right there, right there, right there. You see him? You got him! No, no. no. Oh, what? Oh, hang on, watch yourself. Oh, God, look at him. Dude, I definitely thought you grabbed that one. I he did. took off like you had him. Really? I, sh I sharded it yesterday. Did you? Yeah, so did you have to get change? I mean, it was just one of those where, like, I don't know if it got past my ass cheeks, but I had a wipe when I went back in, you know, but it didn't get on oh. my underwear. It's just, like, I don't know, what's that called? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. That's a turtle. That's a goddamn That's snapper. A you fucker. I thought we were going to attack by the raccoons. <laughs> I thought that was an angry <laughs> raccoon and he was going to come beat our ass. Right that was a giant snapper and he came 100 mile an hour. Right on top of one. I'll shoot him, shoot him. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, right next to him, dude. Yeah. I, suck. I mean, that was so close. Well, folks, we made it back to this canal. Only seeing gar, which we'll shoot gar. They're just not that big. We said, if we're going to shoot a gar, we I want something for gar balls. We're, I mean, we're up in this creek. If the carp aren't up here, I don't know where they're at. Smoked him. You got him. He's dead. No. Oh, oh. you got him. You, what, yo, yeah. oh, no Still way. Still vertical shot. Yeah, you got to go straight down on him. Dude, I can't believe you got I'm him. I'm pumped. Heck yeah. Look at that. The thing works. Woo! Just barely, but she works. Let's go. That proves it. $100 bow. Actually landed a fish before me. Now, we were passing on most gar there, but that one floated so perfect that you couldn't right resist. Yeah, you got it. You got to do it. It's real confident shot. Them long, flat shots are going to be tough with this guy. I don't think he quite has enough power to him. Sheesh, that's what I'm saying. Little gar fajitas or what? What are you thinking? Fajitas? Yeah, I don't know. We got to get back to the main lake, I feel like. We were seeing carp fairly frequently on the main lake. The further we got back here, the more garish it got. Not even big gar, small gar, and not, I haven't seen a single carp back here. So, although Jake just got one, I think we're gonna pull the motor up. We're gonna head back out to the main lake. We still gotta stick Big Sheila, stay tuned. All right, boys, we made a move. We're up in the carp corner. Carp Cove, we made it. Two. Got him, Real got him. Let's go, buddy. See you later, Junior. Shoo! Right through the old headshot. Nice. Yee! All right, well, it's 1-1 one, one now. We had to take that shot. That was just okay. a little, little floater action. We at least got two. We do. Better than none. One-to-one. One. It's one-to-one. One. It's a tie ball game. So. That's pretty similar shots. Too. Yeah, yeah. Real, real, real easy floaters. All right. I think we need to make our way back in that cut. Take them? Yeah. I say, we'll yeah, let's go see if we can find some big shields up there. Shoot them, shoot them. Oh! Oh, right in the head. The head. He's done. He's dead. He's done. Oh my gosh, dude. That's I think I got neater. sprayed with got blood, blood, dude. Yeah, yeah. Oh my. That's a that's an eater right there, boys. Jeez. Yes, sir. Heck yeah. Woo! Big. Dead on the spot. Yeah, right in the dude, that thing low key is not bad. The vertical no. shot's pretty good. Yeah. I'll give it to it. It's that, pretty nice. Dude, you smoked that. Oh, we can eat him. Oh yeah. That's an eater right there, boy. We've been trying for these carp, man. We just 
we just can't quite get her dialed. We're, we're still on guard duty, which, I mean, that's that's the first one that's actually probably got a little bit of meat on them. But we're gonna keep on going. We've got these nice rocks here. I thought there'd be some, oh, hang on now, son. Oh, oh wait, I didn't even hit him. He come out, he come out the water. The old dolphin. These guys are so tempting, dude. You just see him and you're just like, oh, we gotta shoot him. But then you shoot him and then you start reeling it in and then you see a carp. Shoot him. Just under. He's been he making another jump. <laughs> Take the old deep shot. That was the old. That was the old. I closed both eyes on that one. Oh, they're jumping up there. Is that in between two of them? Oh. Yeah, they're nice. nice. Really, Missing. really, dude, it skimmed its face. Dude, the way that arrow flies it goes, there, mm. it looks like a banana. Mm. Oh, dude, he, he jumped, just jumped out of in the boat. He, he jumped out of the three of them jumped today. Whoa, I hit that one on the face. <laughs> oh, I got the great. I'm trash. Got him. Got him. Got him. Right in the dome. Look at that little dark guy. Shoo! Well, we're gonna call it a tie, 2-2. Two, two. Uh-oh, just kidding. Uh-oh, no. Oh, no. Really? Really? Did it happen? Get him? I don't think it happened. I don't either, I think I missed. I don't think it happened. Rip. Dude, that is another gator coming. They're full in here. That's about all this place is good for. Gar hole. Well, we're gonna load the boat up, go back home, and make some gar balls. Stay tuned. folks we got her cleaned up you saw a quick little time lapse you guys are none of the rules youtube you can't show everything but cleaning gar is actually pretty easy it's one of my favorite fish to clean it's kind of it's got a little technique to it. it's like skinning an alligator even though i've never done that but it's the the skin is very very hard so i mean these are some nice fillets we were kept saying gar balls gar balls gar balls that's like the thing that people make out of gar we I, I we sat there and we got actually we actually went to the store and got all the supplies we've got onions we've got peppers we got everything and then i skinned it up and i'm like why don't we just fillet it up and you know cook it the way we cook everything else our secret recipe hot sauce as the binder and your favorite breading for the breading whatever you want to use just some type of fish batter you can make your own if you want this one, I think we gotta go a little extra, just a little extra spice. We've got some duck's buffalo. Go ahead and just dump that in there and we'll mix that in. We can also sprinkle it on after the fact. Plus we also discovered the greatest uh, dipping sauce of all time. It's a spicy ranch actually. And so we've, I know it seems like we've been cooking everything the same. You guys are like, Flay, you need to try a new recipe. But I'm telling you, this recipe is undefeated. And if we really want to have a, a little slight chance at this gar tasting good, we gotta bring out the heavy hitters, the, the go-to recipe, the one we know is gonna taste delicious. If this was, you know, a catfish, we'd be trying something off the wall to make it, you know, a meal that we've never had before. But this one, I was like, listen, I believe in myself and the recipe that we have developed here at Beefcake Cooking LLC, and uh, I think it's gonna be delicious. So, going right into your hot sauce. Now, if I, if I really, really, really wanted this to taste amazing, I might throw this sucker in the fridge for an hour and let her really marinate. But you don't have to, especially if you're gonna hit with some duck's buffalo after the fact. That'll actually bring out the heat. But I mean, if you wanna let that sucker sit overnight and really really have that flavor mesh in there, you can. There's nothing against the rules as far as that goes. We're gonna go ahead and throw that in here. Let's see what our oil is at. It's, oh, it's still really cold. So it's gonna be a minute. That's what I do a lot of times. I'll throw this right into the, the uh, hot sauce right away. And then as you gather the ingredients, you get everything laid out, you get the oil hot. By then, it's had maybe 10 minutes to soak. So we're gonna let these guys soak until the oil's hot. Throw them in here, fry them up. I've never had just a filet of guard, neither of you, have you? No, always had it mixed with something. So it, I think I think people are doubting it. We've done carp like this and it's delicious. I don't think ours is gonna be any worse. So anyways, let the oil heat up, throw it in the batter, stay tuned. Alrighty folks, oil is hot. Taking that fish over to the breading section. Go ahead and throw this on there. Get her all packed up. Again, those of you guys are not new here, this is the same old, same old. But, so this is a bulletproof recipe that we are living and dying by especially when it comes to questionable fish like a gar a lot of people would not eat a gar but i'm i'm here to tell you i've got confidence in our recipe to make it delicious to the point where i mean i guess we got pop beef cake and nate too they're always good second opinion true if it's good or not we won't lie to you folks okay pack it in there this guy go ahead i mean that's a 
That's a long dong. You ready for that? I think I can handle it. Really? Yep. We're rolling all at once. Throw this guy in there. Mix it up. Looking good. Here we go, boys. In the grease. <whistles> Snap! Well, cook them for a couple minutes until they start floating. We'll take them out. See what they taste like. Stay tuned. Shoot! chicken fingers. Coming on up, boy. Oh, my lord. Yeah, hit them with that buffalo. There ain't no way these aren't going to be good. Bam! 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 There's no way they're not going to be fired. I'm convinced these are going to be the, the filet mignon of fish. We got to let them cool off. We also have our spicy ranch. We got to figure out how to make this. I know we've been saying that. We got to figure out how to make it and make it just a little bit better. Add our own little spice and twist to it. So let these guys cool off and stick this meat in our mouth. <whistles> Look at that dense meat. That is dense meat. This is That's going to be a good piece right there. Mm. That's a little finger. Looks like those uh, the chicken fingers BK used to have. Remember those? Oh. Those slapped. That's kind of what that thing looks like. A little over huh? That ain't it. Mm. How chewy is it? It's really not that chewy. Really? I mean, it has decent flavor. Really? It's just not light and flaky. Oh, yeah. God, you can cut it. I mean, that's like... straight up chicken. It's a chicken, of, chicken of the sea. I guess. Is that what they call it? Oh, man. Not good. Uh-uh. Uh -oh. oh, uh oh. Spit. It's not often I spit. That's bad, dude. That tastes like really? ass. That big chunk really? was bad. You here? Let me. Maybe cut. you need some ranch on it. Let me get get you. Stick, I don't know if there's enough ranch in the world. Stick that, that in your mouth right now and tell me what some, you think. No ranch. I mean, that's the nastiest. There's a reason why they make balls. Uh. That, uh that you can't. You can't swallow it. Is that bad? Impossible. Oh yeah. You want to try it? Am I allowed to cheat and try out this ranch? No, not first. No. no you gotta try it straight up. You gotta try. It, it tastes like an aquarium, the inside of an aquarium. You take an aquarium that's been inside like, your house for like two months and lick, this, lick the glass. You get the visual of pond scum while you're eating it. Yeah. It's bad. That, it tastes like pond scum. It tastes like somebody took the river. Oh, I understand why they do garbals now. That ain't it. I'm usually like, man, everything will taste good. That ain't good. I feel like, the, I feel like the skinnier pieces ain't that bad. Like, I tried a piece of just the crust with the dip. It was good. <laughs> I really? fish, though. Like, that ain't, that can't be that bad. This is a little nutty. Any better? Yeah. With the sauce, it's Yeah, those little thin pieces with sauce, not bad. A little better? Mm-hmm. That's probably the worst fish I've ever had. Yeah. That's one that's up there. The, the thick piece. Like, without the breading on it? Nah. Oh, God. I I went deep. Woo! It's not good. This tastes like pond scum. Yeah. yeah. Imagine if you licked the inside glass of an aquarium that's... Just all filled with algae. Now I see why people make carb balls. Yeah. yeah that, that's, that's I would nice. rather eat carb by a mile. Cleaning them, not that bad. They have a nice filet. And we're just keeping it real with you. Even with our bulletproof recipe, we could slice it thin. So it wasn't them big girthy suckers. If you, if you took it and you froze it and you could slice it thin so it's like this, I think you'd be fine. But it's so dick. It's, wow. It's oh, so God. dense and it's so thick that it just, yeah, it was fishy. It was very fishy. Not even like a bluegill bassy fishy, like no. straight up scum like, of the water, like river mud. Taking a th handful of duckweed and yeah. <sighs> like that. When I drink water out of the pond, I, it tastes better than that. That's not good. Even though our recipe was good, the flavor was good, the my, my mouth's on fire, the spice was really good. Thin pieces are great. So if you are just gonna fry gar, I would highly suggest thin pieces or maybe even tiny little like nuggets like teeny little cubes and throw them in there the more breading to fish ratio you know like a 50 50 ratio 50 percent breading 50 percent fish then big pieces were like a 70 30 or 75 to 25 and it was not Ooh, coming back up oh man it's not gonna be good the second round well we shot some gar we went after carp it didn't happen but we did get some shots on camera for you guys to enjoy and I mean, we tied, I guess, technically, your bow works. works. It does it just, work not as well. Not, a, not as well. So if you guys are just trying to get into bow fishing, but you have a bow in a spot, I would say that the $100 bow works. But if you're shooting from the bank and you have to shoot flat, you're going to be struggling, and it's going to take time to reel it in. I would say my bow, not worth the money. Your bow, worth the money. Yeah. Ideally, get that, like, $250 range, something that's got a reel to it, something that's got cams, and I feel like you're going to be in business. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll catch you on the next one, and peace. Yeah.